In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to write a um, proof of concept educational ransomware in order to protect yourself by understanding how it works uh, in a um, basically very cool language, Rust. So why Rust? Because Rust is a basically trendy um, system language and uh, it's quite fast and it's written on top of LLVM. So it's like C actually gives us the same, almost the same performance, but with extra safety and security if, if you use basically safe library in Rust. And you don't need to be worried about memory management and potential crashes there. And since this is on top of LLVM, uh, it can be easily basically or easier ported to other uh, platforms. So here our platform is actually macOS, um, but um, this code actually um, can run on different operating systems. So I hope at the end of this video, you get some points and uh, you learn to improve your security against ransomware. And please uh, just use that for the educational purposes. So let's do it. All right, so first we need to think about this overall architecture. We need to have function main. The first thing we need to do, we need to um, basically um, find files and then we need to encrypt them. So that's the overall algorithm here. So we are not going to exploit any vulnerability or anything like that. But uh, maybe in the future I can make a video uh, talking about the exploitation and uh, how to uh, basically take advantage of potential bugs in a target machine and um, you know inject the code here could be ransomware or any other type of malware. So uh, we need a function. Let's call that fetch um, files. Then we need to import uh, basically necessary uh, crates. Here we have common crates. So that allows us to work with files, finding paths and reading, writing on, on the files. And then we need to have like external um, crates that allows us to use uh, AES algorithm, which is a safe uh, 256 bits, basically, um, you know, cryptographic algorithm. Uh, this uh, crates uh, allows us to this crate allows us to basically uh, find the desktop uh, path. So this why desktop because desktop is usually the most important and uh, handy place for users to put their private files. Because ransomware is they they are not looking for like library files or like uh, Windows files or operating system files because those are common files and user can reinstall them. However, private files uh, supposedly are more expensive and important for target users. So you got to be very careful. And the point here is most of ransomware actually try to find your files at your desktop. So these are you know, little tips here, how to protect yourself. And then we have like what here that allows us to, that allows actually Roscoe to uh, recursively traverse files so you know on desktop you might have a folder and inside the folder you might have multiple you know uh, folders and so forth in a nested manner so we need to somehow recursively actually uh, traverse to them and uh, extract the files and then we have AES writer for writing and uh, writing and changing the file and encrypting the files we have random here because in this educational ransomware uh, we want to use random keys. So why like that? In order to increase the chance of that, and we want to we don't want to have a fixed key here, all right? Because if you have a fixed key, then by performing reverse engineering, um, you know, security expert can extract the key. And uh, so here are the tips. You know, for you, if you want to protect your machine, your network, your company, you got to be careful about path, about how a ransomware really work in practice. So by understanding that. As an expert, you can protect yourself more efficiently. The main method here is fetch files. So fetch files comprises uh, key generation and encrypting target files, you know, discovered files. 
So uh, here, essentially, uh, we check the first line to make sure that we reach the desktop directory. This function actually returns the path. And uh, based on that, we walk through directories to find all the potential files. And when we find something, some objects that is a file, then we generate key and we uh, put the key for the encryptor. Um, and then actually we walk through that uh, path and encrypt basically file by gaining its file and encryptor. This key generator or key generate. So here we generate actually 20, um, 32 byte uh, uh, key and uh, this key is actually totally randomized as I explained before and because this is for educational purpose and we don't want to impose any damage to users, uh, we save keys on desktop. So if randomly um, you compile the code and by accident you uh, execute this uh, ransomware you don't lose everything because you have the keys on desktop and here you can find the keys then you can recover your files uh, so be very careful do not run this on your machine try to run this on a simulator or on a VM places like that and if any for any reason we can't actually find write the file then we show this message that okay you are unlucky and we can't store the file that's why it's very dangerous and be very careful in the compilation and the execution of that so if you by accident um, you know run the file uh, it can encrypt all your files so be careful our final function this this is called encrypt target file so now we have our key and we could find basically uh, different files we extract the path we have the accurate path and now here we are going to combine, import basically the key. And based on that key, we uh, encrypt the file. So um, here, essentially this function um, open the file, this part of the code. And then here we read the content. And then we start to overwrite the content, uh, basically with that encrypted content. And uh, that's all about guys. So as you can see, it's quite simple, you know, ransomware, but it can be quite harmful and effective. So essentially that represents the overall architecture of uh, ransomware. M more basically advanced ransomware, they try to exploit uh, vulnerabilities and uh, they might also attack uh, the, like your cloud space or external drives, not just, you know, desktop only. And um, there are a few tips for you as a uh, you know, security expert to understand and be able to protect yourself if you perform some sort of reverse engineering or dynamic analysis. So as you can see here, the main algorithm is like that, finding files, then generating keys, and then overwriting files. So mostly ransomware target desktop, external uh, drives, uh, external drives, you know, external flash drives things like that uh, hard drives so if you use any external drive or flash drive for your backup you should know that it's not that much safe because if you attach that to machine ransomware can actually scan that and encrypt that uh, there are some versions that attack also cloud spaces um, maybe in the future i'll make some video about that and um, and yeah so these these functions here such as you know encryption function uh, uh, file travel so and the algorithm of that the uh, basically this uh, chronological order here tells us um, basically some uh, give us some idea about the real intention of a program so this piece of code actually can be hide in a kind of legitimate software so if you download any software on the internet and you can review the code it can be actually in one of its library and part of that so i hope this video be helpful for you and uh, i put the source code um, in the link uh, down below to this video so i hope you find this video informative, informative. I, try I try to make, to make it, it as short as, as possible, possible. Uh, uh, to, to give you the, the clue and idea about ransomware in uh, ROS. If, if you like this sort of content and you'd like to learn more about security about secure programming how malware they work uh, more, more details, details about, about, about obfuscation and uh, different, different techniques. techniques. I have, have actually some, some courses. Um, they are commercial, commercial courses, of course, and you can, can find the links in the, in the, the, in the, the description, description section. section. 
and over there actually explaining more details about uh, the details of uh, this sort of programming and how you can protect yourself. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so if, if you like this channel, channel please, please don't forget, forget to subscribe and give it a like and also write your comment and let me know which type of videos you like. Bye-bye.